Did you go to the toilet today? Do you ever wonder what happens with the wastewater you daily produce? Or do you just flush and forget? Are you surprised to hear that your wastewater contains all sorts of precious resources? Since I work for a Dutch water authority, I am more and more aware of the value of our sewage. Virtually the entire periodic system is present in our wastewater. Let me show you this for a while. This column represents the wastewater that you daily flush through your toilet. You probably see a lot of dirt. I see fibers. I see energy. I see fertilizers. And I see loads of fresh water. At the same time, I'm increasingly surprised to see that we just flush away these precious resources without recovering them. While in other parts of the world, there are shortages on drinking water, fertilizers, or, fresh, uh, or uh, energy. Don't you agree that this is a little strange? Fortunately, I'm not the only one who thinks this is odd. An enthusiastic group of water authority officials have joined hands and started to dream. Dream about the potential of our sewage. It's a dream to be proud of. Wouldn't it be great if we could recover essential resources on a massive scale from the wastewater that's flushed down the toilet and that disappears down the drain when we have a shower? We call it sewage mining, and it's our dream to be able to tap a new, undiscovered organic source which is running underground only meters away from the ground on which we walk every day. The source? Our wastewater. The potential of wastewater for a bio-based economy is not recognized today, despite the enormity of its potential. We could be extracting essential resources from wastewater. Every year, there would be 14,000 tons of phosphate, which could be used as artificial fertilizers. Or, for example, detergents for dishwashers. Or even in the food industry, phosphoric acid is present in soft drinks. The cellulose from toilet paper could be used for paper, insulation materials, and plastic car parts. There will be 140,000 tons of cellulose a year, which is the equivalent of 3 billion plastic cups. The algae that grows on our wastewater could be used for food and animal feed, as well as in the cosmetics industry. Alginates, 40,000 tons a year, could be used to thicken ink and sauces. Nitrogen is needed for ammonia compounds, which in turn are necessary for artificial fertilizers. From CO2, one can make calcium carbonate, which is used to make chips and plaster or fertilizers for the greenhouse industry. And CO2 is what makes the bubbles in soda drinks. Syngas is a semi-finished product of chemicals, which could be used for production of glues, plastics, paints, and cosmetics. Sulfur could be used for fertilizers or as an additive to rubber. Sulfates are used in gypsum plaster and as a raw material in the household goods industry. And what about the water itself? We could use it in industry as process and cooling water, or for irrigation in agricultural and greenhouse industries. The yearly production by water authorities in the Netherlands would be 2,000 billion liters. And what's so great about it all is that wastewater is everywhere. The concept can be applied from Africa to Alaska. All that fresh water, all the urine, feces, and toilet paper worldwide. What a raw materials yield that would be. And it would reduce the global ecological footprint substantially. Now, who wouldn't want to dream about that? Wow, isn't that amazing? All these opportunities from your wastewater. Well, to recover the materials of interest and to be able to use economies of scale, more work needs to be done. The water authorities can't make the transition to sewage mining by themselves. We need to connect our network of running bio-oil to other bio-based initiatives. Together with scientists and industries, we need to adopt a new way of thinking and develop profitable business opportunities in this new market. The story of concept, uh, the, the concept of sewage mining is more than a technical story. It's a story about opening eyes. In a search for a sustainable future, an enormous potential is overlooked. An interesting potential for the Netherlands, but also for the rest of the world. 
the water authorities are willing to push this innovative approach to reality. The key to success is a long-term, committed public-private partnership between governments, industries and research institutes. Next time you flush, please recall our dream. Thank you.